We don't even need to discuss anything about sanctions. Since the first bomb was falling in Ukrainian land, all serious sanctions should have been imposed immediately. Ukraine, a Ukrainian nation is a peaceful nation, but we also have two things. We have our dignity and we have our memory. We remember Maidan, we remember Vasily Slipak, a Paris opera singer who left his career in 2015 and went to the east of Ukraine to fight, to fight for our democracy and freedom. We remember Dania Didik, 15 years old, children, the kid who was killed in Kharkiv in the protest like this because it was a terroristic attack from Russia. We still remember everything. We remember Ilovaisk, we remember Volnovakha, we remember Donetsk airport. And so that's why you don't need to be mistaken here. Russia started the war in Ukraine not because we wanted to join NATO. We wanted to join NATO because Russia started the war in 2014. And we still, the, we still fight for us. This war still continues, but now it's just insane. Yesterday, for example, they bombed, as you might know, hospitals, kindergartens. Is it like those NATO soldiers that Putin wanted to fight with? Just civilian people. Today in the morning, I again open the news from my hometown and I see this shelling of civilian, civilian buildings. Isn't it insane? And Hag Tribunal is waiting for Putin for that. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. It is undoubtedly. And also, Russia has a lot of losses now, within three days of our brave fighting in Ukraine. Я хочу обратиться к вам. Вас должно быть в первый день фашистской агрессии вашего государства миллионы, десятки миллионов на улицах разных городов. И в том числе вы должны, вы должны были стоять перед танками, которые идут в мою страну, которые стреляют. По детским садикам. Если вы сегодня говорите, что вы за мир, и молча пишете в Инстаграме сообщения, вы являетесь пособниками фашистского государства. We should pass this message to governments in Europe. We don't need to uh, their words. We need their actions. Please, let's make the goal to pass this message to the governments. We, we all know Russia is an ag aggressor. We all know 
uh, we all know they are killing their, uh, our people, but we need to make action here in Europe. We need to make action. I'm very happy that we are here in the United States, that we are very happy that it is important for Russia to remove from the SWIFT system. Yesterday it was successful and now it is very important that the whole European Union does it, because we have a strong effect for Vladimir Putin and for all the friends and friends who have this SWIFT system.